Everybody, welcome back to the video. Back to this, we're gonna be going over the best barrack layout in the game right now. Uh, before I say anything, I meant to say this like weeks ago, but thank you so much for a thousand members of my Discord server. Um, I'm gonna put some channel art on the screen right now of something that someone made. Um, I'm already almost to 1.1k, so I just want to say thank you for everyone who has joined already. Um, join if you haven't already. Um, link description. And yeah, now let's start the actual video. So, what the best barrack layout is, it's very complicated now. The game has gotten very complex. So, there are two ways. If you were more of a simple person, then I'm going to go over that first. But if you're someone that wants more complex, then, you know, keep watching till the end. So... What I suggest doing, if you're more of a simple person, is just using nine centaurs and then one healer. You can switch out centaurs for sword masters if you do have some swords that are better than some of your bows. If that makes sense, if you have, like, your top nine best weapons are, like, okay, eight weapons, because you're going to have eight and one healer. So eight, your best, top eight, best eight weapons are, like, five bows and three swords. You can have five centaurs and three um swordsmen or sword sword masters yeah that's what i meant um that's pretty much the best barrack layout from a while ago so that's like the very simple but if you want to get a little more complex this is kind of like a medium tier what i would suggest is using just all um all oh my gosh beamer barracks but the thing is is that there's only one issue with it um the what's his name energist does way too much damage and it you just because so what happens with the beamers is it kind of builds up and it takes a little bit um and if i and you know the energist kind of kills them before they get to those high damages if you have beast mode chocolate power with a full team of like energist you can do like 10 12 million damage a hit and one hit or something like that which could do a lot of damage to can almost one shot to like the second strongest like the energy cube or something like that you can almost one shot volcanus um but the energist is just way too strong volcanus might also be a little too strong but if you're fighting weaker enemies then it's not bad but now let's go over the actual layout that is really really good and apparently can get up to like one shotting energist if you do it time it correctly but it's really difficult and it will take some practice to actually get it so if we come over here and we attack this dummy as with the new um paladins that they added like the oh my gosh paladins have been a thing but net recent now they drop shields which one does give you like defense boost but if you collect 10 of these but you need the hat by the way you need the hat in the new area for this layout because it gives the energy blast releases energy blast every 10 tokens you pick up energy blast deals 12 times the total soldier damage to nearby enemies so right here if you if i collect 10 of these then it will do one burst of 12 times damage. And then I add beast mode plus chocolate power plus that. And then if you get the beamers on their strongest attack, you could do like 30, 40, maybe more. I don't know. Million damage in one hit. There's seven. Where's eight? As you can see already, it does some pretty good damage sometimes. Uh, but it does get kind of weak. All right. There's eight. There's nine. Ah, oh, dang it. Come on, one spawned right in front of me. I don't like that. But as you can see, that the dummy is dying pretty fast. If you just watch, there's one, there's two. This is not easy, by the way. Okay, so I have gotten nine of them, and now we just kind of have to watch it go up. So one, 300, okay, 364. I'm trying to find out what's the max. It cut seven. Okay, so it's about six, seven hundred, and then it kind of just goes down. So once it gets up to about like I don't know, five hundred, I'll use my abilities. There's the abilities. Come on, spawn one. Really? Now it doesn't spawn one in. Boom! It really kind of failed. But as you see, I got like six million there for a second, and that was like a big failure. But it's really hard. But if you're able to time all the ability plus your beast mode of chocolate power, it could do up. Big blast that could like one shot energies. Um, if you really want to, you could um, like add more of the beamers than that I have, but it doesn't really matter that much. What I have is a pretty strong team. But now let's come over here. Come on, guys. Um, and let's actually like look what I did. So, what I did is I put three. 
paladins and I'm just using like you will I do suggest getting the shields and are just shields then five wait yeah five beamers is what I'm using and then one healer which I really do suggest getting the new bandage and enchanting it really well and that is pretty much my full team right there as you can see um, I also got like the energists like the weapons from energists so yeah but I really do highly suggest you know actually getting the full team and stuff like that Oh, I thought this said 320, <laughs> um, but my bad. But yeah, this is the best team right here. Um, it's really good and it can do a lot of damage, but it's just really hard. I don't know if I'm going to use it all the time. I might switch to like three beamers and the rest just being like centaurs or swordsmen, just because it's so much easier to deal with. But we'll all kind of see and do some testing. But yeah, hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure you smash like your post. Even never miss you. And I'll see you guys all on. Peace out.